lady wrote a comment on one of my videos she wanted me to tell her how much sewing content creators earn, especially in nigeria and that reminded me of my own curiosity when i was starting up on youtube so she inspired this video hello my name is kemi Morube. i'm a fashion designer and a content creator in case you're new here if you're not new and you're coming back thank you thank you so much i value you i appreciate you thanks for coming back over and over again to watch these videos there's no camera freak without you basically if you are yet to subscribe to the channel make sure you do that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to drop your own comments in the comment section let's get on right to the video When I started creating YouTube content, I was curious to know how much YouTubers earn, how much I knew how much vloggers earn, I knew how much people in US earn, but I could not just find that video on this page that would tell me you are in Nigeria, you are a fashion designer, you are creating tutorials, this is what is possible. Maybe that could have encouraged me or discouraged me, but at least I would have been able to make an informed decision, right? But thankfully, the pay wasn't my focus. Guys, maybe I would have been frustrated out of this app if that was the case, but sincerely, the pay wasn't my main focus. I really wanted to build a community. I really wanted to give out. I really wanted to teach and to reach a wider audience. And thankfully, I was so focused on that. And here we are today. So how much exactly can YouTube pay you as a sewing content creator based in Nigeria? The reason why I'm emphasizing this is because the pay varies depending on the type of content you're putting up depending on the place where your viewers are located not even where you are located no where a large number of your viewers are located so it varies a lot now for us to be on the same page and for you to properly understand what i will be putting out here today i need to put you through some things and some conditions and all you need to know before we even talk of the monetization, if I just go ahead and I just state whatever, it may not make so much sense to you and you may question why because you won't, you won't understand why, why? <laughs> now let's look at those conditions. Now before you start earning from YouTube, you must have achieved some requirements. One, you must have at least a thousand subscribers. Yes, one thousand subscribers. But I consider that the easier part of it. Secondly, your videos must have been viewed at least 4,000 hours. That you must have at least 4,000 watch hours within the past 12 months. Okay? It's not like you have a video today, it gained 1,000 hours of views, and then in the next two years, you, you get what I mean? It has to be within the last 12 months. Those are the two major requirements. And of course, you must comply with their policy, copyright laws, and all of that. All that. But those are minor things that can easily be taken care of. But most importantly, these two things, a thousand subscribers at least, and then at least 4,000 watch hours. And personally, it was difficult for me to get to this watch hour because when people come for tutorial, um, people just want to pick what they want and then go. They don't watch the videos long enough and all that. So... When I got monetized, I was over 2,000 subscribers. That's, I got 1,000, but I was still struggling with achieving the 4,000 watch hour. I got monetized after a year and some couple of months of being on YouTube. I, I can't remember precisely how long it took me, but I know it was well over a year, a year and a half thereabouts. Some people get monetized within, you know, a, a year, some within a couple of months, depending on the type of content you have. And if you already have audience on some platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and you can convert them to your subscribers, why not? Why not? So yeah, a lot of factors that can delay or make your monetization process faster. Now, even after you get monetized, some other factors determine how much you'll be paid. So that brings me to some other terms and some other things that can affect how much YouTube pays you as a content creator. One is your CPM and RPM. Looking at my phone because I need, let me, let me just check the actual meaning. But I won't just explain with my own terms. 
Now, this definition is from Google itself. If you don't know, Google owns YouTube. YouTube is a search engine for videos, basically. So CPM is the cost per 1,000 ad impressions before YouTube break. Now, when advertisers pay YouTube, how do you earn money as a content creator, as a YouTuber? Let's use the term YouTuber. Now, YouTube takes part of the money and you take the other part of the money. Now, that's supposed to be half, but from my own experience, it's not usually half. What you earn ends up being a little less than what YouTube takes. So, let's go again. CPM is the cost per 1,000 ads impressions before YouTube revenue share. What it means is that it is the amount advertisers pay YouTube for 1,000 ads impression. Not one, not 100, but 1,000 ads impression. That's when they put up ads and 1,000 people view that ad. The amount advertisers pay for that 1,000 ads. That is the CPM. Now, RPM, on the other hand, is the total revenue after YouTube's share per 1,000 view. That's how much YouTube now pays you. Let's say if a particular video has an, a, a CPM of 1,000, okay, no. Let's say a particular video has a CPM of $4, and YouTube takes $2 for 1,000 views of the ad. Not 1,000 view on your video, 1,000 view of that ad. Because some people watch your video, they don't watch the ad. Or they skip through it, or they don't watch it long enough. Maybe they watch less than a minute or two, and they skip a second and two or two, and they skip through it. Or maybe once they see ads break, they skip it forward so that the ad doesn't play. So it is possible for people to watch your videos without watching the ad. Now, for a thousand watch on those ads on your video, YouTube will take the two dollar. We are making an example. YouTube will take the two dollar. Now, what is left? The other two dollar that they will give you. That is your RPM. That's basically what you earn. CPM is how much it's how much is paid to YouTube for a thousand view on your ads. Why RPM is how much YouTube now gives you for a thousand view on your ads. That's just as simple as it gets. Now, these two things are affected by a lot of factors. One is the location of your viewers. If your viewers are in countries like India, Ghana, Nigeria, unfortunately, a lot of African countries, we don't have a high CPM. The CPM is generally lower than in countries like the United States, United Kingdom, and all that. Some countries that have a high CPM are Australia, United States, Gibraltar, I don't know this country, Switzerland, Norway. So Australia, for instance, has an RPM of $12.85 for that 1,000 view, right? While countries like Nigeria, let me check, Nigeria has one point something dollars. So you can see that much difference. That's one twelfth of what you can earn if your viewers are from Australia, you know, US, UK, and all that. Uh, that of Nigeria, let me check. If you are watching from Tunisia, you have $0.42 per 1,000 view on your ad. That's very small. If you are watching from Turkey, I'm surprised about this, $0.32 for 1,000 view. If you are watching from... Argentina, or most of your audience are from Argentina, that is 0 0.89, Egypt is 0 0.9, uh, let's go to Nigeria, Saudi Arabia is 1.6, South Africa 2.17, okay, Nigeria is $1.34 dollar for a thousand ads impression, that is the CPM. Now, like I have explained, that means if a thousand people watch that advert from Nigeria, <laughs> Then the advertisers are going to pay $1.34. And then YouTube will take a part of it, at least half of it. From my experience, they take at least half of it. And at the end of the day, you may just earn 0. something, $0.7 thereabouts. You see, that's for 8,000 ads impression, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. See, 
if you are going into YouTube, you have to do it for your passion for it. You have to do it for your... You'll be frustrated if you focus on the money at the beginning. Now, is it possible to earn more? To earn more from YouTube? Yes, it is possible. And that's where building your audience starts. It may take you months. It will take you years. It may take you years. Guys, you have to be patient and allow that time to come else you will be frustrated mm -hmm. so that's it about rpm and cpm now once you have reached that threshold that youtube can start paying you you're going to be sent a mail to register for the youtube partner program and then you receive your pin after some weeks or some months and you can input your account details and they start paying you every month if your money is up to hundred dollar if it's not up to a hundred dollar they will add it to the next month so that you can then withdraw it if you want personally i haven't withdrawn anything from what i have been earning on youtube it has just been there because some other reasons i just decided to leave it there just know that you have that option as well to you know just store it there till you actually need it but i think i, I won't recommend that anyways just get your account set up and move your money guys <laughs> so at least something to encourage you to keep on doing what you are doing right now once you have registered for the youtube partner program or is it partnership i don't know so youtube partner program once you have done all the registration you have received your pin you have set up your adsense and you are, you are, they start paying you all the features on your YouTube Studio app, which that's the app YouTube has used to monitor on your mobile phone, okay? You, there's also the site, so you can go on your computer or even on the phone and go straight to the website. But the app helps you, you know, apps are just easier to access, guys. So the, the user interface changes and you are able to see the revenue part of things. So you can see how much you are earning daily and um, how the RPM from trade. Guys, even this RPM and CPM, it from trade to towards December, for instance, more people advertise on YouTube. So then the RPM and the CPM goes a little higher and then it comes down by January, February and all that. So it's not like one stable thing. I think one of the reasons for this disparity in RPM and CPM between different countries is how much enlightenment people have about the advertisement policies. I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, in my opinion, I think it's because more people use YouTube as an advertising platform and they also have more viewers in those country so that tells you that we are just coming up okay there's still room for growth there's still room for this to be bigger than it is right now so that's like a goal we can look forward to that's a possibility that even we as africans can look forward to like i said more people watch from that way and more people also advertise on youtube in those countries i want to believe that's the reason because it, otherwise it doesn't make sense why 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 will that happen <laughs> well yeah that's our reality guys so you can be in nigeria and have lots of viewers from those countries with high cpm that's why sometimes vlogging channels lifestyle content may do well depending on your personality anyway if people love you from those parts of the world like those that started vlogging earlier in nigeria most of the nigerians that were in those countries started watching vlogs from nigeria vlogs from africa and that those type of people with those type of audience they tend to have a higher cpm and rpm so they tend to earn more yeah but if most of your audience are in nigeria african countries in there as well your rpm and your cpm will be low like i said it's a global platform and with time even your audiences can shift for instance about 70 percent of my audience used to be from nigeria before but currently is it's around 50 percent of my audience that are in nigeria and then we have some in us ghana uk you get what i mean yeah so it's not just about your location the location of those people watching your videos next let's talk about what you do after you are qualified to start earning from youtube when you post any video 
YouTube may put, I realize they don't do it early enough, but just go ahead and place ads on your video. I place ads on my video every three, three minutes, and I don't know if that's too long, really. I, I'm really not sure if that's too long. Somebody recommended every two, two minutes. It does not mean that YouTube will place ads at those points though, but that's just to say, okay, I'm open to more advertisements and then they'll put up, the, they're not likely to put up adverts every two, two minutes on your video, but you can place slots for those adverts on your video so that YouTube may decide to put them up and that way you are able to earn more. Now, when you are putting up a video that is less than eight minutes, you don't have the opportunity to place adverts in between and that can reduce what you will earn from that video. So what will happen to those type of videos is your adverts will play at the beginning and at the end of the video and that is all. You can't place in between. But once you have your videos longer than eight minutes, even when you are uploading without being monetized yet, you can put that at the back of your mind. Make sure that your videos are at least eight minutes long so that you can place multiple ad stops in between your video so generally that helps you earn more from that video what it means is um, instead of people watching ads twice remember that i said rpm is per a thousand ad view so they may watch that ad three three other ads you get what i mean and if your video is like 30 minutes i think if it's more than 30 minutes for certain content creators it may just be a waste of time because people generally don't watch tutorials that much from my content and from my experience i've seen that people tend to watch sit down talk videos like this for longer even though the views will be lesser so you just have to create a balance between all of these things and some people that love the entertainment part of things they watch vlogs longer than they watch tutorial and sometimes for tutorials you just want to see how the zip is fixed maybe you have idea of some things and you just watch for one minute and you go so if your content is too long, like if it's above 30 minutes, in my opinion, it is too long. I try not to make my more than 20 minutes. It's your editing has to be fast paced to keep people retained and to ensure that people just want to watch more of your videos. But then if you have a long video and you're able to place more adverts, that means one person can watch up to five adverts instead of one. Okay. At the end of the day, you need 200 people to get to a thousand ad uh, impression. I hope that makes sense. Yes, I also didn't mention that for each video, the RPM and the CPA may be different. Yeah, advertisers may be willing to pay more for a particular video and they, they want to pay less for the other video. You get it depending on the topic. Generally, business related videos tend to attract advertisers the most. So if you're talking fashion business or you're talking how to you know anything business related guys they attract advertisers more much more than vlogs or even tutorials just keep that at the back of your mind it's just complex guys sometimes i, I really can't fathom why some things do better than some things but we have like general expectations so if you're doing a fashion business not fashion business now any business related channel you have an average cpm that is more than what you get as a vlogger and like i said it varies between it's not you it depends on the video the video may come up and the cpm is higher you may do another topic the cpm is lower may even be half or times two that's how much you know variation you can have between your videos especially if your videos are not a particular type of video maybe you do fashion business you do tutorial you do vlog you now notice which type of videos work better for you and you can channel your content towards that so once uh, when you are checking your analytics when you see cpm for that year or for that month it is the average it does not mean this is you and this is your cpm this is what you will earn no it means on the average for all the videos you have uploaded during that time this is the average cpm this is the average okay yeah, I just thought I should add that. Let's move on to the elephant in the room, the obvious one. Many of you clicked on this video because you wanted to know how much YouTube paid me in my first year of monetization. Now I'll be sharing my screen with you and showing you what I earned. Before I do that, please listen to this. One, I wasn't doing YouTube full time. You must have noticed that a lot of people on this platform 
are doing this full time so they are able to focus all their energy on it put up content every two two days or every other day or every day i can't afford that and even at this now i'm even more consistent guys you guys need to give it to me please put a thumbs up on this video because i'm so proud of my consistency so far even even the, see when this that falls down how do they put that proverb you to praise itself you know even if nobody is praising it i'm really grateful that i've been able to do better on youtube by increasing my consistency and you know you just have to you have to be smart and to think well i've noticed that tutorials takes so long to do it takes me so much time to film because i'm sewing that clue too you know so it takes me how long it, it will naturally take me to make that outfit and in the process because i'm filming i'm moving this 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 way i'm you know repositioning camera it takes even longer maybe times two of that time and then because the videos are so long to now edit it it takes me even longer and maybe i need to do a voiceover it for it to be clearer and that takes makes the entire process long so it was not feasible for me combined with the other parts of Kema Freak, the fashion school and online classes and all that and as at this year that we are going to analyze now i was actively into bespoke tailoring as well i was still doing some bespoke jobs you get it so it was a whole lot so the thousands of dollars <laughs> i'm about to expose was this low or this high <laughs> because i wasn't very consistent on youtube it was not my focus so if you want to do youtube and you want to channel all your focus on it you will most likely do better consistency pays here it's like it's more than it's not times two effects it's like a ripple effect it is arithmetic okay once you do you are consistent the growth is arithmetic not if you grow you now add small add small no it's arith arithmetic is the ripple effect people will watch this and they will click on the next video and all of that so yeah note that i wasn't very consistent i was uploading videos like once in two weeks or maybe once in a week my consistency then was being able to upload a video once in a week but thankfully like i said i had to apply wisdom and diversify my content between tutorials vlogs and sit down talk videos like this this video i'm filming I'm, I'm not sure how it will be up to an hour and then the editing is usually very fast i can edit this within two hours and it's up and that's what you enjoy with sit down talk videos while the vlog is me basically living my life and filming it this really does not take time like that and the editing is interesting that's something i realized with the vlog so yeah adding this to tutorial apart from the fact that it helps me reach out to my audience more to it allows my audience get to know me better and you know just help me put personal into this personal brand if that makes sense to you and aside from that it also helps my consistency did i just divert <laughs> okay let's get back right on track i got monetized on the 28th of october 2020 2020 now i'm sharing my analytics between 27th october 2020 to 27th october 2021 that's the first year of monetization let's do this so now like i said between the 27th of october 2020 to 27th october 2021 as at this stage the average cpm on my channel was 4.04 and youtube was paying me 1.45 dollar per 1000 ads impression on the average because i had series of videos with different rpm and cpm like i have explained but on the average i was earning 1.45 dollar that's one dollar 45 cent for a thousand ads impression and now estimated revenue for that first one year was 335 dollar 75 cents guys if you convert this to naira that's barely above it's above anyways 150,000 naira for an entire year of creating multiple videos and in that period i uploaded less than maybe around 50 videos anyways but yeah this was what i was paid guys at this first year of monetization because i didn't have 
this opportunity that you have to know how much I could earn, especially at the beginning. Okay. I had less than 10,000 subscribers then, and I didn't really have an idea what other people, I was so curious guys, and nobody was willing to tell me. That's what I'm telling you guys. Oh, I need to put this my phone on silence. It's disturbing my life. That was what I was being paid as a sewing content creator in Nigeria for that first one year. Like I mentioned, I was uploading videos once in a week on the average, but a lot of times I still uploaded once in two weeks. So yeah, so for that level of consistency, this was what I was paid. And to tell you, even though I wasn't putting all my energy into it, I wasn't that consistent. I expected more and I almost became discouraged. Like, standard question, is this really worth my time? You know when you are making tutorials, you, have, you will buy fabric, you will sew, every sewing material, you're actually sewing, guys. So you do that and then you will have to get data to upload. So that was not profitable for me and i i considered switching this channel to something else you guys a lot went through my mind but there's this passion that i i can't just throw it away you get what i mean like even though it's, it's something i'm willing to do even if it is not profitable it's something I love doing it's something I enjoy it the process may be stressful but that doesn't stop me from wanting to do this like I love I love 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 the platform I like the fact that it rewards consistency and that pushes me to be more consistent to do better to put my energy into it and also the community I'm able to build here wonderful people telling me this has helped them I what even videos I posted like over a year ago, I still get comments of people telling me how much this helped them. And aside from tutorials, even when I sit down like this and talk to people, people pick things like one of the videos I filmed on how to work from home or have a fashion business from home. That video has gained lots of comments and all that. Some were inspired to start up their business from that video. Some that were feeling discouraged before they found a better way to work from home i ran out of battery and i had to go change it so we can continue so like i was saying the passion in me was more was ready to invest even though it wasn't profitable and that that's what has kept me going that's what is still keeping me going and also seeing the testimonies from other people um, i wish a youtuber in nigeria with 200 300 thousand subscribers and lots of you on their video will come on and tell us how much they now earn i will watch it i will love that type of video i would like my people you guys to see what is possible and to see that it is possible to earn a lot what am i assuming it should be a lot <laughs> yeah that it gets better guys so currently um this analytics went 2022 and it's just like how many months after this less than a year after it has gotten better one thing some things have changed i had to do more i had to put up my content more often and be more consistent upload more videos and like i said it has a ripple effect and so that has improved a whole lot maybe one day when i'm comfortable you know telling you how much i now earn i will do that and sincerely i won't say it's still that much i still consider this an investment for me like future investment people 10 years 20 years from now they are probably going to still need some of my videos and they are going to watch it okay so Consider YouTube as a long-term thing, something that can still bring you some money even in the future. Everything that can go wrong when you are filming a video has gone wrong already. America got filled, the battery ran out. Thank God that BEDC hasn't done their own. They still power supply, thankfully. So we are moving on. Like I was saying, that passion kept me going on and I also see possibility. I see potential in what i'm doing too. so when you are investing money you expect a return right i'm not at that level just yet so in case you are thinking ah, this guy is very rich you hey no i'm going to if god if you if you want to bless me please bless me okay i'm investing a lot in this so that passion is what can keep you going till you start earning good money from youtube apart from that if you position yourself well 
YouTube AdSense is not the only way you can earn money on YouTube. There is brand partnership. Now, it's unfortunate that, especially in Nigeria, I've noticed that most of my senior colleagues haven't gotten lots of that. Or some, I don't know whether I've ever seen them mentioning a pro product or being an ambassador or being an influencer for any brand. And I think one of the reasons is because some haven't positioned themselves that way. I pray God gives us wisdom so that we can also explore that market. You get it? So when you are creating your brand, put it in mind that more than teaching, you want to influence people. You want to show us your lifestyle. Sorry, maybe not lifestyle, but at least you want to be a part of it. Let's put a face to what you're doing. Let's know you outside sewing so that when you come and you recommend products to us we want to buy we want to patronize you want to be part of whatever you are a part of that building that audience that community that love that you get from the public can make brands want you to be their influencer or you know something so with some channels as little as 10,000 subscribers 20,000 subscribers you're already getting brand deals and they pay really well most pay well okay so that's another way you can earn money on youtube another way a third way you can earn money on youtube is by uh, let's, let's just say that when you build a community you have this audience that you can sell things to for instance some of you have taken my courses on here which i'm most grateful for guys i don't even take it for granted that. so one, once people say that okay you can do this freely when you bring up a product that is actually paid, they feel if I get this value from the free one, then I should get much more from her paid version. Okay, paid course, it can be a physical product, digital product, but then you can have a product apart from advertising for other people, and then you have an audience that can respond to you. And then there is also membership, although I haven't done more with membership, you can contribute to whatever your influencer is doing, help promote the channel by joining their membership program you see a join button below you just click on it the amount you pay will come up in the currency of the country you are in and then you can give them a token guys encourage them because it is not easy dropping content even though it has prospects you may not just be any so much from it just yet so dropping that can you know encourage them and help them to grow so there is membership there's super chat when you're chatting and you can contribute money to just encourage uh, sorry i didn't say chat super chat is when you are on live videos and you see this money popping up in dollar in pound in naira that's the audience giving back during a live video to say okay we appreciate what you're saying i'm learning something from you just take this token and yeah so those are the ways um is, am i missing anything no so brand partnership um having your own merchandise or your courses and also being an influencer helping other people promote their brands these are ways youtuber make money apart from google adsense but google adsense is like the most predictable one the most consistent one especially if you are also putting up your content consistently i hope this video is not too long yet but let's look a little bit more into the screen so that we'll see other parts of this let's look at some of the months in here we have um october october had just a couple of days that's october 2020 so i earned 2.58 dollar and then the next month which was november 24 dollar plus december was 19 and all that so you can see small small differences between the month because of all these factors i have spoken about I move on to 30 something dollar in June. We have July and all that. And then in October, everything was within that range, less than $40. And I tell you largely that was because of my the level of my consistency and the type of content I was putting up, the views I was having and all that. You can also see the CPM varying from one month to the other here. Okay, but on the average it was four points this and the revenue you are getting also you can see how it's varying but <laughs> this was it then this transaction revenue is from people that joined membership during that period so this one wasn't 
that much okay so yeah this is what i had per month let's look at the videos that did really well during this period guys sometimes the most simple videos have the best revenue like the best cpm the best viewership and all of that and i've seen that from my own analytics within this period of time one of the videos with the largest highest views was this simple video here this is the best way to take measurements for trousers just a very simple video that within six minutes that's something if your video goes viral you will be paying that is not up to eight minutes so that you can add more adverts in between so this was like a six minute plus video the you know this didn't go viral anyway but it did really well currently within that time it had 24,000 views. that's within that time it's even more now i think it's near 50,000 view and all that and then uh, how much did it end me oh okay the pay wasn't included here i wish it was so these are the videos that did really well this diy or shoulder top cow neck how to draft and sew a cow neck starting a fashion designing business from home how to draft off shoulder so simple simple topics sometimes you are thinking i'm not yet good enough oh, to come and be teaching people but you know those simple things come and teach us we will learn so top ending videos within that time was the best way to take measurements for trouser so within that one year it earned me 37 dollar and 21 cents and the next one was how to draft cow neckline how to take body measurements are you noticing the trend the very simple ones people watched it more people watch the adverts more and they ended up paying more how to shed off shoulder starting a fashion designing business from home and we can go on and on and on about this to see what end okay i, I needed this graph what end the best revenue and you know a whole lot contributed to this so yeah simple topics can sometimes be the best than the complex ones the complex ones will generally take you longer to film edit and at the end of the day you may not get enough views because the more complex a topic is the less people need it i hope this video has been educating expository explanatory enough for you especially if you want to start up a youtube channel and you're just wondering how much can i earn my advice is that please if you are not passionate about that thing don't do it you'll be frustrated out of it you have your passion has to be able to sustain you through the times where the views and the money you are getting from it may not mix that's a whole lot of noise through the times where your view and the revenue you're getting from it ah oh, jesus ninja youtuber <laughs> so you should be able to sustain you through the time when the revenue and the views you are getting may not make sense it should be able to sustain you through that time it must be something you're willing to do even if you are not being paid for it so if you have that it doesn't have to be fashion designing any any niche whatever the niche you are in if you have that thing that you know you love maybe you love cooking and you don't mind cooking and recording it for the fun of it go on to youtube and start putting out those your cooking content on youtube so whether they are paying you or not at the beginning you are consistent even after they start paying you and they pay you a little bit you are consistent so that will take you through that time till the time when you are paid good money good enough to cover your costs and be profitable for you that will be the end of this video yes i hope i have tried if you know that i have tried please give this video a thumbs up guys when you give it a thumbs up youtube think people like the video and they recommend it to more people that's why i always beg you guys please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed just check maybe sometimes i realize i've been watching a particular channel and i haven't subscribed to the channel so just look down okay look down and subscribe click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching this if you have learned something let me know in the comment section bye guys see you in the next one <laughs>